MW3 has been absolutely incredible, and we're just a few weeks away from the integration, but I understand that not everybody has MW3, and a lot of you still enjoy Vondel Resurgence, so today we're going to be breaking down a 31 kill game that I had here, really focusing on, you know, things that I do well, why I do what I do, mistakes that I make. This game is not perfect. I die a few times, yet we still drop a 30-plus kill game, so we're going to be really focusing on a lot of things that will allow you to start to improve and get more kills. Now, right here, early game, you know, I see this crate and I have a good feeling just based on the color because rem remember it's a little bit different color I have a good feeling this is a loadout crate so I want to get that a lot of you one of the biggest mistakes that I see is do you feel more comfortable with floor loot guns or loadout guns obviously loadout guns but you're not prioritizing getting those and that's going to be the first step or the first thing that will allow us to feel more confident when it comes to winning gunfights now right here just trying to see what I can find you know I don't really see anything open just yet I'm looking for open crates open doors broken windows any telltale signs that there are people around me and I hear one over this way a little bit of strafing increased aim assist allows to hit high damage areas and we notice that one is to the left and we have somebody in market as well now just kind of like I said floating around here looking for open crates finally I see this crate open as I turn the corner I am going to see an enemy right in front of me but notice the doors are open we got the window up here little things that tell me there are enemies around and when you're dropping hot areas of the map mall market stadium those are things that you want to be picking up on that tell you there are enemies around you. Now, of course, once we get the kill, we're able to get the information about where exactly the teammates are. Now, in this moment right here, look, in a few weeks, this is a tax print, slide cancel, break the camera, and then we get the kill. But for now, we're just going to tax print, jump peek the corner. That guy's completely lost. Notice two enemies on my level over to the left side. Very hot early game here. I've got my teammates with me, and now we've got another team here. I hear more fighting over this way. Sure enough, there's one right there. Guy flying in above. So watch how I use my cover throughout this fight. I am out in the open, yet I I'm still using cover. I'm using cover to separate me from them. So we're able to get the re-knock right there. This guy's straight ahead of me. He torches me. We're going to go ahead and use our cover right here with the helicopter. We're able to get that knock. Challenge around this way. We get him thirsted first and then the guy that's tucked in the corner. We take the easier thirst first. Now we see one on the minimap to our left side. We're going to work our way over just a little bit as we're plating. I see him straight ahead. We're going to tag him. Now we just keep the pressure on. Anticipate around the corner. Easy kill right there. And look at this team. Look at this team. This is important to see. You can't miss this guy flying over because now I'm a little bit concerned. Oh, we might have another team here. So watch what we do. We're just going to plate up real quick. Right? Let's plate up. Guy flying in over to our right side. Now let's go clear this. When we see somebody flying in, when we get this piece of information that there's somebody, you know, pushing over, we need to act on that and go clear it, right? Where are they? Are they straight ahead of me? No. Are they to my right side? No. Okay, where could they possibly have gone? And eventually we give up on it and act on another piece of information, but I'm trying to see where that guy might have gone. Now, when we talk about early game here, six kill start, really good start, by the way. If you are subscribed, you know four kills in the first circle is 20 pace, so we're definitely on 30 pace here early. All all I'm thinking about is perk package, right? Once I have perk package, I've got a lethal, I've got a tactical. We're in really a, a really good spot to get that momentum going here. I basically got everything that I need because I have double time, I have fast hands, you know, or sorry, I have double time, I have high alert. I don't have fast hands, but I really prioritize this double time here to give us outplay potential and the high alert to tell me when somebody's looking at me, when I'm getting third party, little things like that. Go ahead and grab the plates real quick. Now we're going to work over to the right side. I want to talk about a big mistake that I make. I hear shooting inside of this building. Now I also hear shooting over to the left. There's not really anything that I'm going to be able to do here. You know, if there's a guy straight ahead of me in the open, maybe I swap to the Razorback and I get that kill, but I'm not getting the kill here with the Bass P. So not really a good spot to stop here completely out in the open, but I did it. It doesn't cost me my life or anything, so I'm just going to push in here. One right there. Anticipate enemy number two. We stick him. We get the down. We get the thirst. One, two. I take a ton of damage in the process from the thermite. And unfortunately, this team makes a really good play. You know, what you're going to see here as we go to the kill cam, because I'm going to die. I'm at eight kills already. This team does exactly what they should have. Notice that 
this is not the same team that I got kills on, right? The two guys that I killed, they are not on the same team. So they just heard me fighting. They heard me fly over. You know, I get third party. It is what it is. They made a really good play. It's exactly what I tell you to do. Listen for teams fighting. Go get those easy kills. Now, flying back in here, I'm going to see this guy on the rooftop. We're going to go ahead and take the free kill. I only have $1,500. I don't have enough to buy, uh, to buy my loadout guns or anything. So we're just going to land on the rooftop. I see this guy. I also notice unopened crates. So unopened crates, unopened doors door right here on open door right here so those little things say hey this has not been looted yet and i know that i can a say actually this crate is open but this one wasn't so maybe this has been looted a little bit got to be a little bit aware um that crate's been opened across but this one hasn't right here i'm able to get a perk package you know i'm not even worried about that guy up top that's afk we're gonna go ahead and loot this crate this door's unopened so we're gonna push in and grab this and then loadout drops so now let's go ahead and rotate over to loadout here i don't have any guns or anything i'm not really in a great spot so let's just go ahead and grab loadout and we of course have the uav up good timing with the uav i don't know if they bought it or got it out of a crate my teammate probably got it off the train but we're gonna work our way over to load out here and look down now i think i get this kill with my normal razorback unfortunately don't get it with floor loot that's the difference between floor loot comfortability and loadout comfortability and as i go to get loadout this team on top university with the port with the uh, the uav tower pinged because now they see me on radar and i go down you know it's unfortunate it's just it is what it is it's part of the vondo dynamic where loadouts tend to land in a spot there's a lot of people that sit on high ground and just kind of look over those you've got to really be smart about that so a little bit unfortunate situation but if i lose full here then i don't drop the 30 kill game let's go back in now, this is a really dumb play. I don't know what I was doing here. I, like, drop straight in and don't even pull my parachute. I don't land on the rooftop. I don't look at where people are. I don't land in a building. I don't land on my loadout. Like, I don't know what I was doing here, but I end up getting away with it. I just go, okay, I'm going to go back to loadout here. So let's go back to loadout. I think the one thing we learn is it, sometimes it's easier to just rotate over to loadout from low ground, be able to get it. I get high alerted. So I smoke. I get out. And now we're looking to just get a kill. If we can get one kill here we're gonna have plates we're gonna have ammo we're gonna have cash we're gonna have everything that we need so i'm looking for kind of that one easy kill and you know thankfully i do find this down low which is uh somebody that had died and there was a bunch of loot there so now we're kind of in business here like i have confidence back to start pushing based on information high alerted so we're gonna work our way down low here notice nine kills still a lot of teams left here enemy dropping in here trying to see what i can find now this is an important one here and I kind of keep this very simple. When in doubt, push high ground. If you're not sure where to go, if you're trying to kick off a fight in play positioning, you know, get high ground and start there. Use the inside of buildings to really finesse teams and kind of take your one-on-one -on -one fights. So when in doubt, push high ground. So what are we going to do? We're going to push high ground. It allows us to third party, just like I do here. You know, it allows me to see a lot of what's going on. Easy kill right there. We get the thirst. Now we're going to go ahead and get kill confirmed, right? Actually, this guy that's pushing ahead gets it. So, you know, allows us to see a lot. There's the team over by mall. I can, of course, see over this way. I hear somebody backside. I can easily rotate over and shoot down on people in market. So that high ground allows us to kind of look over different POIs and rotate to shoot down on other POIs very quickly. There's a lot of kill opportunity here. One flying in above. Pretty easy kill right there. Just got to execute. And I'm a little bit unsure about, okay, there's definitely people over at Mall. I'm not 100% sure if I want to push. And then at some point, once again, as I said earlier, you've got to make a decision whether you're going to push or not. So I hear a bunch of shooting. Let's go ahead and push. How do we push? Well, we get high ground, right? This isn't a ton of high ground, but even this slight little bit of high ground gives me enough cover to challenge, puts me in a really good position. We're able to get that kill. Now, I want you to go through your typical checklist after you after you get a kill, right? So let's look at minimap. Nobody on minimap that I have to worry about. So what do we do? We immediately start plating. This is another one that I see a lot of you struggle with. Keep in mind that we use plating to outplay enemies because it increases our movement speed. So the first thing that you want to do after you get a kill, almost after as you're looking in the, at the minimap, unless you have information that it's multiple for sure, is plating up, right? Get plated, then you can go back in. Now, what else? We've got 12 kills here. We're good on guns. You know, we've got plenty of ammo. We've got plates. So what are we thinking? Let's grab cash. Let's grab a UAV. And now we can start to act confidently. Now, I'm going to turn my camera off here because I want you to watch my eyes. This is my actual gameplay camera here. And what we are doing is we are using the UAV, which pings every two to three 
three seconds to track this enemy. Now, in terms of which guy you want to push, you could push this guy over to the left side here. You could easily go take this 1v1. I'm going to go push this one right here and then get in the mix. But watch this guy. Watch how I track him. So we're going to push across here. There's a ping right there. Now, as I check the minimap again right here, notice that we're going to pay. Hold on. Let me pull this back for a second. Right there. So I check it. Notice he's not pushing up the stairs right here. We're just watching. We check it again. He's not pushing up the stairs to this building to my right. Right there, he pushed forward a little bit. So as I turn the corner, watch what happens here. You see this ping? You see how you see him tucked behind my little marker here? Well, as I go to check it, he's not there, which is why I get caught a little bit off guard here. A little bit off guard, but we're still able to get this kill. And now I go ahead and I'm going to push up top and start to work it on these guys to my right side. So the lesson to be learned there is use every use the UAV every two to three seconds. Check it to understand where people are moving to. A little bit of an unfortunate situation. COD timing wise there we are in able to get away with it but at the end of the day it's going to help you 99 times out of 100 to do that what do we do from here don't have a ton of information let's go act on this guy flying in it's all that we have to act on that's the only piece of information that I have so we're going to go ahead and push our way over this way 13 kills we're in a really good spot here really good pace just need to keep this momentum throughout the second and third circle a lot of you struggle to keep momentum and a lot of you struggle to get momentum back after you die in second and third circle and that's where you really slow your pace down that's why a lot of you can get off to really good starts and even have a really good finish, really good end game, yet you're still struggling to drop high kills. It's that mid game right there. One over this way. Can't 100% get that knock or anything. Still a bunch of people around here. You know, there's. I definitely hear somebody pushing up right now. We're going to tag this guy. I hear one in the stairwell, so we push in, and we just immediately throw a knife in. Boom. I know you're challenging. I knew he was pushing up because he heard the shooting. We get the thirst, and sure enough, there's his teammate. Now, why do I die there? What's the number one reason that I die there? I want you to think about this. Why did I die there? I'm going to end up being full killed here. So what happened? Why did I die? I died because of lack of information, right? I didn't have... I didn't get a kill and get a minimap ping that told me there's two in the stairwell i didn't have a uav that told me there's two in the stairwell there's nothing there that told me there were two in the stairwell which is why when i go to challenge the first one i get the full kill but uh, you know i would have played that differently had i known that there were two what do we do right here this is one of the best parts of warzone 2 one of the best changes that they made dropping the perk package right so we can immediately go land back in on our stuff loadout is still up so i could go load out if i needed to but hey you know what let's just go drop in let's grab our perk package we're gonna grab smoke razorback there's our bass p got ammo got plates actually i need to find a plate which i do right here and now look we've got throwing knives we got smokes we got ammo we got everything we need we are back to full momentum and i want you to also remember that when you get into better lobbies with better players they're going to be running meta guns. They're going to be running meta perks. So you can not only land where you died, you can actually land where you team wipe somebody, right? You get a team wipe on an enemy team and you end up dying a little bit later on. You can fly back in there, grab their guns, grab their perk package and get rocking again. Get that momentum back. Let's go ahead and keep the pressure on down below here. There's an enemy 100% down below us. So we're just going to keep the pressure on. We're going to stack this a little bit with my teammate, which I don't love doing, but he was right there with me. There he is right there. I don't know if I get... Do I get this down? No, my teammate actually got that down. So I did not get that kill. We're going to work our way back up. And our teammate's going to get shot right there. E easily able to stack that. Now, I am thinking about getting away. Like, I want to get away from my teammates. I don't want to just sit. Notice load out to the left side right there. So once again... Don't really have anything to act on at the moment, right? We don't have a UAV. We don't have anybody fighting, like not 100% sure. We hear some footsteps in the stairwell. Now let's talk about this. I missed the throwing knife. So we're backing off. We anticipate the re-challenge. And then I hear it's multiple enemies. So I'm going to wait. Nope, that's not a good push. If two guys push up that stairwell, there's no way I survive that. So we're going to work this way. And then I hear fighting. So now I know that there's two teams here. Let's go act on that. Now, a little bit unfortunate because I missed the side of the building if i hit the side of the building i would have been able to challenge this more confidently but i can't quite get that down and i expected that guy to push up the stairwell so i clear up and when i don't see him up i'm like hey he's definitely down and then i hear a, a revive i hear him stick to revive here right there so he challenged in the corner down Rechallenge. Use the smoke to my advantage. Thirsted. Down the guy that was here. Well, I didn't realize that he had actually been revived. So we're able to get that down. Now we work our way back up. I hear somebody in the stairwell. So what do we do? 
Wow, we just take advantage of the throwing knife. Throwing knife in close quarters. It's broken. It is what it is. And notice one down below. Watch this guy. See this guy right here? This is where we got to pay attention to where enemies are after we get the kill. Because I'm going to go challenge this. And what ends up happening is I'm going to clear the corner. I thought that was him hiding in the loot. I hear him over to the left side. Now, when we I hear him over to the left side, look at gas, right? He has to push to me here. There's nothing that he can do. He's got 38 seconds. He's got to get to me. And then I hear him push it. I see him taking that. So pretty easy kill right there. And I'm just going to let it. He's going to die to fall damage right there. So no need for me to even worry about getting that thirst. Once again, throwing knife. 21 kills. We're in a really good position. One over to the left side on my level. So I'm kind of thinking ahead about where he might push. Grab the gas mask and let's start working our way into zone. You know, let's try to fight in zone as much as possible. And you've kind of seen that throughout this entire game. Fighting in zone as much as we possibly can. This way we don't have to worry about being held on the edge of gas like I did to the guy that took the redeploy. One right in front of me here. Throw a knife. Eat it. One above. Just going to go ahead, push our way down low. Immediately think about the re-challenge right here. But I got my teammates with me. We're in a really good spot right here. One right around the corner. Down. Thirsted. There's kill number 23 after I missed this throwing knife. But my teammates are actually going to get that full. Now, what do we do from here? Look at our zone pull. Okay? A little bit, you know, fourth circle here. Respawn is disabled. Got to be smart. Let's go ahead and see what we can find, right? We got to be smart about where we're playing, where our positioning is. Not 100% sure where anybody is. I hear the alarm going off behind me. But let's take this moment after we get the occupation scan to go think ahead. Let's push into zone here. Let's not wait till, you know, circle starts closing. Let's not wait until respawn, uh, until... What am I trying to say here? Let's not wait and get held out of circle by other teams. Get into circle here. Let's go get the thirst and then we start to work our way across. Right, so we can still got time here. Don't float, by the way. Duh, you got to be really careful floating. Watch what we do. Watch how we play this here. Let's go across. Yep. Let's just get across. We're not still not in zone, by the way. Like we're still not. We're still not even close to being in zone. We're gonna pop Yui to get a sense of where everybody is. Right. Trust our smokes here. We know that we can use smoke. We pop Yui. What do I notice? Multiple enemies across to the in the buildings that we have to get to. We have to get over this way. So, hey, let's go push there now, right? Let's go push there early. That guy's clearly going up the stairs on the live ping. So now if we can get ahead, we can fight these guys and hold these guys out of circle and we'll have a bunch of free kills. That's kind of my thought process here. Now, this guy, we tr we're tracking. Notice he goes left. So we're just going to keep the pressure on here. Pushes through. I expect him to push to my right side, and then I see, obviously, that he's pushing over towards Graveyard, right? He pushed over towards Graveyard right there. So now we focus on this team back behind us. We're just going to wait for him. I mean, this is the exact situation that you don't want to get stuck in. You don't want to be stuck in this spot. And a lot of you get stuck here. A lot of you get stuck as this team rotating in because you don't think ahead and start rotating early. And now you're on the edge of gas. This guy's got to jump. This guy's got to push into me. Pretty easy kill right there. High alerted over to the left side. I got my teammates with me here. We're at 27 kills. Six other teams alive. And we're going to go ahead and push this forward a little bit. Let's go ahead and push this forward just a little bit here. We wipe that team over to the left side. Five other teams. Bunch of people around us. Two teams still on rooftop. Now, I want to get rooftop here. I want to try to get rooftop if I can. This guy flew down below. Pretty easy kill right there. Now, four other teams here. We got 14, and I still hear a bunch of fighting. Bunch of people on our rooftops. So, look, I want to try to get high ground if I can. Ideally, we're going to be in circle with cover, then high ground. In circle with cover is the most important thing. That gives us a chance to fight. That gives us a chance to hold people out. Gives us a chance to use durable. Gives us a chance to win endgame. If we can get that high ground, that really gives us a, a better opportunity to get kills. So, I'm going to work my way up top here. Let's go work our way up top see what we can find and then the moment that i peek up top and i see one guy groot skin i see two guys right here right so we see one guy here we see the groot skin to the right side we see this guy and we see this guy down low i know that like i'm not in a good position here to challenge that like we're not in a good spot to be able to get those kills so we're just gonna have to wait here we need one more kill for the 30 and then of course we need to clutch the dub and, and look sometimes it's okay to just wait a circle, right? To just wait a circle and say, hey, 
I know I'm not going to get high ground. So let's see what happens on the next one. We still have fifth circle closing, and then we have sixth circle, and we have seventh circle to clutch this up. So we're just going to have to wait here. A little bit unfortunate. It's not what I want to do, but it's what I have to do. Now, still a little bit unsure about where this other team is, right? I'm not sure about where this the, the third team is. We got us. We have a team above us. And then... This third team is somewhere, probably across, you know, maybe on the bridge, but they're floating around, uh, so, uh, get high alerted, so we know they're across somewhere, just not 100% sure where. Six seconds until circle starts closing. Now, I make a pretty big mistake right here, which is I'm not patient enough. I have to really be patient right here, because I put us in a bad spot. I go ahead and use durable. But look how long six circle is. Six circle is so long, so be patient. I'm gonna precision. Now, what are they? What would you do if I precisioned you? What did, What would you do if I was on that rooftop? Right. All you would do is go into the building on this side that's in circle, and you would just wait. So I don't get it down there. I don't get it down there. I do find the other team. I find that team straight ahead there, so we know where this team is. But at this point, I've, like, burned my durable gas mask, and I got nothing for it. So, I know they have to jump. We're not, we're still not in a bad spot here because they have to jump to us. They're above. We got shot from behind. Now we're in a little bit of a tougher spot. I don't have a ton of durable left, which isn't a good thing. I don't have any cash to buy another one. They smoke. I hear them fly. Gas mask is off, so chaos is about to ensue. I'm going to tag this guy a little bit. We're able to get that down in third, or that down right there. We're able to get this down right here. We're able to get that thirst with the throwing knife. I get killed by the guy with the f tac siege. Sure enough, here's my teammate right with me. I got my teammate right there. This guy is going to end up killing my last teammate, and we go down there. We finished in third. Unfortunate, and I, I cost us there. I was way too aggressive with that precision. I needed to just play patient, and where I needed to call this in was right about here because at this point they have nowhere to go right so if i had just waited and waited and waited and then i had a full durable gas mask and i called the precision airstrike in here that would have put them in a really bad spot and what that gives me the opportunity to do is i would get a few downs i would force them to jump before they want to and my durable gas mask would not have run out right here I would have still had a full durable gas mask to use to my advantage, which means that I don't have to force my way into zone right here. And at this moment, like, I've got to just keep pushing in. I simply react to this guy. So I cost us right there. I completely sold that game. It is what it is. I hope you found today's video helpful. As I always say, let's get better today, and I will see you tomorrow.